Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Rise of Empires. This is episode with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you for all of your previous likes, views, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. Thank you as well if you joined in the live stream last Saturday. Pretty much every Saturday, we do a live stream question and answer. Um, try and get some people together and see if we can solve the problems uh, that our players might be having. Um, we are continuing our series, and we're nearly finished, I think, in looking at every single building uh, within the game. Now, we have looked at stationing before, but we've not specifically looked at the town hall as a building. So let us give it a quick look. Uh, town hall can be built, I believe it's uh, castle level 2 or 3. Um, and basically, this is a way of stationing or placing uh, particular heroes um, at particular buildings, and they will then give those buildings buffs depending on their level and skills. Um, it does not have a lot of power. You can see I'm like Town Hall level 12, and my power is only 687. Uh, it costs me 39 charcoal. I don't know whether that's 39 charcoal an hour, 39,000 charcoal. Yeah, it doesn't really say, so it's hard to kind of work out. You can look in here, the next... Uh, Upgrade, yeah, is nothing too bad. It's not going to get me much power when I upgrade it. However, upgrading it does give you more slots. Okay, so you start off um, cost 39 plus 3. Uh, I don't think that's meant to say cost. I think that's meant to say places, cost capacity. That's. I don't remember it saying cost capacity before. <laughs> I wonder if that's a, a typo or I've gone crazy. But basically that cost capacity is how many uh, things I can place or station uh, at particular buildings. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go one click reset. That is going to unstation everything I have. Now, what you can also do here is click unowned. So this is now showing me every single hero and where they are stationed so this is every hero that is available to be a stationed hero not every hero can you can't station uh dual blades uh somewhere well no you can't it's not going to do anything it just doesn't work like that um but basically if you look at the top here this is going to tell you where and who to station your production your military and your support um, it will show you the ones you don't have so i can see here oh, i wish i had the tech priest but i don't have him i wish i had the castle builder i do not have him so basically you're just going to have to follow this as a guide now every time you obviously upgrade the building you're going to get more and more slots you can see now i have 39 slots however i don't have enough heroes to fill those ones so if we come here we can go like this and garrison yes thank you very much it's very annoying to do this one by one but that's how you have to do it uh we're going to go garrison this guy yep thank you very much and we're just going to click through and garrison everything that the game is suggesting to me i'm not making any decisions here uh, there's no kind of, oh, is this hero better? The game is telling you which hero goes where and which is the best hero. If I don't have the hero, I can't place it. Now, obviously, people are going to ask me, but which is the best hero to get for this? What hero should I get? Again, I'll repeat what I always repeat about heroes, that if you are paying money to get heroes, then just get all of them. <laughs> Basically, if you're going to be spending money, uh, you know, just get all the heroes in. Yeah, you may as well. Uh, if you're not spending money, then it is pure luck which heroes you get. So there's no real point in kind of going, oh, this one's the best. It is just whichever ones you have and whichever one, as you can see, this system here is suggesting I place. Now, it is suggesting these two little buggers here, uh, the peasants. Now, they are pretty useless. We're going to garrison because we have the space. But if you do have more heroes than you have places to place those heroes, then I actually wouldn't bother with these two at all. Um, unless you have the space for them, do not bother with them. They're, they're, they're pretty much useless. Uh, but as we can see, we can just pop through here and we can just garrison everybody up. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Go into the support. Is there anybody here? Yeah, a little bit of you, mate. And a little bit of you. Cool, so you can currently see the 27 of 39, so I have 12 spaces still left. Now, everybody takes a certain amount of different spaces. You can see these orange heroes, and it might be hard for you to see, but it costs six of these places to garrison. So I could only do two of these oranges if I had them. Each one is different depending on, I guess, the how important uh, that particular hero is. Now, obviously, you can click on the heroes themselves, and you can see you know, all of their skills and what they do. Plague Doctor, who I'm actually working on trying to get now through purchasing fragments with my hero tokens um play doctor does quite a lot of stuff with healing and i think that's actually quite a good thing to have in the long term so that's why i'm focusing on getting him uh, with your other heroes you're just going to have to make a call and look at their skills and see whether or not it is worth uh 
upgrading them. Um, this second skill increases wounded healing speed. I'm never too worried about that. I mean, when I get wounded, it's usually during a duel and I have enough speed ups to kind of speed up that stuff if I want to. Um, this one here gains XP. Again, yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it for someone like Sister Maria. Uh, the ones that I do focus on are the production. Um, and if we can come in here, now green thumb, is probably I should be leveling up a bit more but you can see this increases farm production all of the farms by a thousand per hour which is pretty good and some of these actually well not the ones that are rapid production I don't like those but this one again increases farm production this one here uh, increases farm outcome by 30 so that's an active skill I have to actually oppress that this one gets more food yeah etc etc so you have to go through and see which ones you want to focus on but i would say if you're focusing on upgrading their skills i would probably focus on your orange combat heroes first other than that the town hall is pretty simple you can upgrade it get more skills and you can station people whenever you need to um it does need to be attached as far as i can tell let's uh you know what let's actually i don't think i've ever tested this so town hall so production at the moment say on food is 279 Let's see if by moving it, will that production drop? Okay, so it's not attached to the road anymore. The production is still 279, but it's going down. Oh no, that's because uh, I have too many troops uh, currently at home. Hmm, so potentially there, it does not have to be attached. Production does not seem to have been changed, and we're just looking at the food at the moment. So that's not a bad thing. Um, I don't think it takes much in the way of charcoal anyway. Let's have a look. Currently, our consumption is 243.9. Let's move this baby over. Bangity bang. That's the wrong one. Bangity bang. 246 so it's taking 3,000 charcoal an hour I'm gonna say I leave it here until I've done some more testing and seeing whether or not it affects any of the production whatsoever most likely what I do is I unattach it for a day and then check the next day and see if this is different than what I'd expect it to be other than that I think that's everything about the trading hall a few people have asked uh, there is another video I think it's called stationing uh, which I talk pretty much exactly about the same things but I kind of wanted to make this one so I could call it town hall building Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers. Bye.